luminous ones, Joya with Vibology here, and Spirit told me to get online and do this camera, do this on camera, <laughs> do this on camera, I should say. So this is as real and raw as it gets. I have no makeup on. I am in deep process today, deep, deep process today. And I think I had a really big break breakthrough, which is why I'm hopping on here as Spirit has instructed me to do. So here I am. And what I want to talk about is uh, being in the work and coming up to that space, which I talk about a lot, that space where you bump up against yourself. And this happens when, frankly, we get sick of ourselves, when what we're doing becomes more painful and we become so conscious of it and we know what it is. And yet we still do it when we, when we come to that place where we bump up against ourselves which is the point of choice, right? Where we're going to make a big decision to stop doing the thing that we know no longer serves us and start doing the thing that we know will serve us. There is a uh, an energy gap there of momentum, of habit, of, well, let's just call it, it's an energy gap. It's energetic because everything's energetic. So this energetic gap though can be wide. It can be little, it can be really close, and it takes what it takes, right? In reality, it doesn't exist at all. It's all in us. It's all in here. In ultimate reality, where all the potentials exist, your higher self is already like cheering you on going, yes, she's going to meet her potential. She's going to step into her power and meet her potential. Yes. But you, the earthly being is like, I don't know. I don't know. So I was giving it a lot of thought and practice today because I'm at that place. And it's, and I'm very aware of it. I'm very aware of what's required of me to go to the next level. And that is discipline, dedication, devotion, those three things. And um, showing up, discipline is showing up consistently, making more of a schedule, having more of a structure in my life, especially in my business. Um, this last year, I really just kind of, I don't want to say took a lot of time off, but I feel like I didn't show up as fully as I knew I was being called to show up. And I learned so much this past year about myself, though, also with my um, my self-sabotage and my attachment to disappointing myself before other people could disappoint me. And I realized like that was an old habit and a, and a self-serving way of keeping myself safe from being disappointed and hurt and crushed by the world. I'll just do it to myself. It's so insane <laughs> when we think about it, when, we, when it comes to light and we see it, it's like, wow, I've been doing that. And so here I am again at a bigger, being called to a bigger level, a, ne a way bigger level than I'm at now. And today, I, an hour ago, coming up on just about, gave in to the energy of the seduction of addiction, of checking out. And I door dashed ice cream, crackers, some soup some bubbly waters and I did order a salad, <laughs> but the, but the first thing, the carbs, the sugar, like that's something I've, I know I have to cut out and not because, not because of a diet or health thing, although yeah, that's the benefit, but more for the spiritual release, the energetic release of the clinging to that, the clinging to eating, the clinging to food, which for me is the strongest way I check out. That energy, I just want it freed out of my body. I want to cleanse it out of my body. I want to be free of it. So this DoorDash order is on its way to my house right now. And so what I did was, I'm mean, like, I'm in the realization of it, right? I'm in the recognition that, oh, I'm at that edge of choice again in myself. And am I going to choose this seductive habit loop that gives me something else to focus on and something else to think about and something else to energet energetically manage, some chaos in my own life that I know how to manage, right? Versus stepping into this unknown. How, who am I without this? What, are, what am I going to do without this thing? Because it's taken up so much space in my life. And also acknowledging that, you know, for those of us who have addictions and self-sabotaging behaviors, we wouldn't do it if there wasn't some pleasure in it. So even though I had the total realization of it, 
right? I'm in the feeling of it. I'm in the knowing of it. I'm in the awareness of it. I'm feeling the physical visceral re reaction to it. I'm, I'm also feeling my conscious awareness of it. I'm experiencing all of it at the same time. And at that same moment, I'm also feeling in my body, the sense pleasure of it. And when I felt that part of it, I was like, ah, there it is. That's what I'm seeking. I'm seeking that pleasure right there. Whatever that little, I'm pointing this way, <laughs> whatever that little pleasure is. That's what I'm seeking. And so then the next question dropped in that said, well, what else gives you pleasure? What gives you more sincere pleasure than eating? Because the void is going to need to be filled, especially if we have these long standing habits of distraction and self-sabotage. When we stop doing those things, man, we're going to have a big void. So we need to fill it with something. So... I decided to tone. I'm like, why don't I just practice what I preach? <laughs> and why don't I just do this and see what happens after toning it and tune in with my body then and see how I feel. So this was a 15 minute process from the point of starting to talk to myself, pulling out my phone and, and audio recording myself. Cause I'm like, I'm going to create an audio diary of this process, of this struggle, what I'm going through, because I know I'm not the only one. This is a massive, massive one for so many people. And it was 15 minutes from the point I hit record to the point I finished toning that I literally at the end of it said, oh my God, I feel like a different person. I feel like a different person. And the voice in my head, I put my hand over my heart and the voice in my head said, I'm so proud of you. I love you so much. And I realized that that's my new voice, which isn't as loud as my old voice yet. And that's a powerful realization to have when we're in those moments of temptation, when things are hard, when we want to, when things are hard emotionally, physically, spiritually, financially, every way that they could be difficult. And I know that when it all kicks up to be difficult, it's to show me what's not working, right? It's like cleaning out our closet. I'm keeping that. I'm not keeping that. And so as I'm in the in this messy middle of seeing, it's an awareness of where do I find true pleasure instead of this substitute short-term pleasure, which really is causing me pain, chaos, and keeping me stuck because it's keeping me stuck energetically and emotionally and spiritually stuck. Physically stuck too, right? Food, extra food turns into weight. It's not like I exercise like I used to, to pull this off. So what I did was after I audio um, processed what I was feeling, what I'm thinking about, like being in the middle of this storm and witnessing it, the witnessing self being the I, <laughs> the I of the storm, the I, letter I, get it? The I am of the storm, if you will. And that's actually really good. I'm gonna have to write that down. Um, I'm seeing a visual that goes with that, right? It's like this self that's in the center of thoughts and feelings and emotions and stories and opinions and beliefs and projections and family and friends and work and all the other, all the multiple ways, all these billions of people see you. And it's like, it's so much. And then here in the eye of the storm, I can just be in the witnessing awareness of this. So that's what I did. And then I decided to tone it. That's where I was like, okay, let's practice what I preach. And so I would love to guide you through this practice. This is not something I ever do in public because it's a little bit out there, but, and this was really inspired also because the other night, and I, I and you know what, I might even, I might even give credit for the experience I'm having today, this vibrational awareness to Dr. McLean, and I'm going to post his video down below because he posted a, a Hathor healing video and I toned with him and it was unbelievably powerful. And so that I did that toning with him. And then today I did my own toning and it was powerful. So, so he does, he hath or tones as do I. And so I also learned this exercise, this practice from him that, which he learned from the Hathors to deeply drop into your deep self. And so I'm going to guide you through that too, and how I do it. So I'm going to invite you to tone with me, to listen to this. 
bring your intention of freeing yourself from your addiction, from your sabotaging behavior, whatever it is, whatever that energy is. I think the energy is always the same and it just manifests itself in lots of ways. So that's why addiction gets transferred, right? So feel your feet firmly planted on mother earth and say out loud, I connect myself to the healing center of mother earth from whom all life grows and take a deep breath in feeling the energy coming up through your feet into your legs. And as you exhale, feel your roots rooting down deep, holding you stable to the ground. Inhale again, raising your hands up over your head. Open your fingers as wide as you can, like a tree, extending your hands out. And you say, I connect myself to the healing light of source creator from whom all life flows. And feel your hands, feel your palm chakras being activated and filled with the healing light as you inhale and pull it down through your crown chakra, through your spine and your hands, down slowly as you say, I now connect to my deep self. And feel where your deep self to be is and put your hands on that place. And just breathe for a moment and feel that. And I'm going to say an invocation to call in the Hathors, the Magdalens, the Pleiadians, Yeshua, Saint Germain, and my Nafsha, my higher self, connected to the quantum realm of all that is. And I ask for vibrational tones of healing to come through this body instrument and for you to be the energy that plays the instrument for the ultimate healing of this instrument. And anybody listening. I know that your vibrational frequency knows how to entrain my vibrational frequency into coherence. And I give you full permission to sweep the basement clean and to bring me into the highest frequency, the highest transmission of Christ consciousness that I can be. And I'm sitting, but you can stand, you can sit, you can lie down, however you feel comfortable. And if I feel like standing up, I will. I'm just going to start sitting with sitting though. So deep breath in. I exhale, just feel in the body. Oh, I need to turn on my sound or this will get cut off. There we go. Okay. Uh...
feel the vibrations inside of your body for a moment. What was released? What else is asking to be sounded? Oh. served you.